So this video is uh, very important when it comes to illegal arms trade and uh, all the other scandals which current uh, and former so-called democratic position, political position uh, is involved, so uh, political parties which are uh, in power in Serbia. Uh, and uh, I uh, explained in some of my, of my videos related to illegal arms trade such as uh, the one that YouTube is con constantly pushing on at the end of or almost at the end yeah here there is almost at the end of this uh, search so when I search arms although this is in the uh, title of the video and uh, first title is search then description tags and so on and so on so this should be at the top but it's here and this one as well and so on and so on and so on uh, so uh, in this video I will need to open it so this is my channel uh, this video is uh, I explained who is behind illegal uh, arms trade uh, that it's uh, uh, illegal arms trade is I explained who is uh, behind illegal arms trade in Serbian Western Balkans and it's United States federal government is not a surprise. We go here. What the hell is my channel? So I'm trying to find uh, those uh, pieces of shit from so called uh, organizations of. Uh, investigative journalists and I will show now that I will play a video where a guy who is uh, I think editor in uh, Rush Today Balkans, Balkans version who will uh, explain who is behind that one of those organizations called the uh, screen or uh, creek in Serbia creek sorry so they have uh, they have some recent articles about that that's them. I also uh, mentioned them on my. Uh, actually, I sent them some replies from my Twitter account, which I'm not going to show now. I showed that tweets, I think, in some other videos. So they're obviously in that story and they're hiding. I mean, they're. Uh, they are, uh, exposing some important information this is the whole point of uh, controlled opposition but they're hiding the main fact and all of them are uh, trained in foreign countries by uh, foreign uh, organizations this is another one insider which cooperates uh, have cooperation with uh, Radio Free Europe. They are also involved in cover up of illegal arms trade. So, they their main goal is to hide that. I'm trying to find Creek here. It's also Burn as well, uh, and then uh, Pistalka. Burn. Then 
there they are, or, or Birn, uh, then Pishtaika. Again, about illegal arms trade, and uh, illegal arms trade is again uh, popular because of war in, in Ukraine. Recently, the a uh, Financial Times said two articles on that, as I just showed. Also, the a uh, CNN wrote about that that last year, middle of that. Of last year I'm trying to so Bjorn I think I mentioned Creek as well so maybe I haven't mentioned Pishtaika so this is important this is from uh, Veterans Today So let's see if I have beer. This is tabloid, which is pushing the story of uh, so-called deep state, which doesn't exist. There is only state. This is rubbish. Uh, what's this? This is BBC. Serbia. This is from uh, war crimes in Cameroon where Serbian arms is used. This is Diljana Gaitanjir, I have uh, several videos about her, several recent videos. Uh, I don't seem to be able to find Krieg, he Krieg here. Deutsche Welle also wrote about that. Okay, is this creek? No, this is something else. Okay, I mean, I probably mentioned them. If not, uh, I mentioned them now. So, uh, I can close this and again just searching for uh, arms keyword. You can see uh, videos related to illegal arms trade that I, that I posted and again I proved that uh, United States, there are videos on that United States federal government is behind that. And this is what, what all these so-called investigative journalists are trying to hide. So uh, let's hear what this guy has to say. So he is uh, editor of RT Balkan. That's their website. RT is, of course, Russia Today. So let's see what's what he has to say uh, and it will turn out that I was right that video is from 2021 that video that I closed about details on legal arms trade so at that time <coughs> I explained that uh, all these goal of all these main goal of all of all these uh, investigative journalists organizations in Serbia is to hide the fact that United States federal government is behind that. So let's see what this guy has to say. His name is Nikola Vrzic. Uh, Nikola, what is the day of the day for us? Meni ne day of the 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 day of So he is now talking about uh, YouTube. Uh, blocking or deleting some accounts of people related to I guess RT Balkans Balkans Balkan podcast Lokomotiva dvojica mojih mladih kolega Marka Nikolić i Tiosa Purića i moj komentar mojih 5 minuta So uh, chief editor of portal RT Balkan Nikola Vrzić 
ponovo, opet bez obrazloženja, bez nikakve prethodne. He is also blocked or banned <coughs> or his account is deleted. I, I didn't really follow the, <coughs> the story. Uh, he mentioned YouTube here. And this, the date is four, <laughs> four months ago. Wow. 10th of March 2024, and today is uh, <clears throat> this date and time. So let's see what else he has to say. Dakle, cenzura jedna koja prosto... So uh, he can't receive any notification of, of that ban, uh, nothing in advance. Više poprima razmere kakve, ja ne znam, možda postoje u vreme Sovjetskog savjeza bez ovih tehnoloških pomagala, ali jedan zaista krajnije, kako bih rekao, depresivan i upozoravajući, deprimirajući i upozoravajući moment kuda srlja to društvo koje oće nas da uvuku, gde prosto ne trpi bilo šta što iskače iz onoga što je zadati smer razmišljanja. Sad, ono što je dodatno interesantno, ajde ne bude da pričam samo o svom slučaju, a da se vratim na vaše pitanje šta je obeležilo Nedelju za nama. Pa Nedelju za nama je obeležio jedna kulminacija tog medijskog obaveštajne operacije koja se dešava sada u Srbiji. So, he's calling that intelligence operation of media. Konkretno, evo, desilo se tako da je moj komentar od petka se tica ove afere ili ponovog reanimiranja afere oko Šarića i navodnih veza sa našom bezbednostnom informativnom agenciji. Uh, and his ties to uh, <coughs> state intelligence of Serbia. Gencijom, pa sam ja komentarisao, to i pored ostalog ukazao na činjenicu da Portal Creek, od koga je sve krenulo, kao deo organizacije koja se zove Oce. So, Portal Creek, so this is only one of... of uh, <coughs> Actually, I can open it. This is one of, only one of scandals related to international organized crime. So, uh, uh, there is it. Krik wrote about that. About Šarić, Darko Šarić. BBC also wrote, wrote about that. <coughs> Uh, he get lesser uh, time in jail in 2022. This is what they wrote about Radio Free Europe. They are also in the whole thing. And so on and so on. So this, this is a major deal as can be seen. Al Jazeera Balkans. Yeah. Or Al Jazeera Balkan, yeah, Balkans. <coughs> they also Al Jazeera Balkans also covered up monstrous murders of three members of my family. I think I uh, notified them about that in uh, 2019, and they ignored ignored me. Although that guy Ban Ilković is uh, was closest associate of Slobodan Milosevic. Uh, okay, and of course there is another uh, there is another scandal related to uh, drug trafficking, international organized crime, which is called Jovanic. I talked about that uh, when I talked about illegal arms trade, so I'm not going to talk about that again. Let's see what this guy has to say. So he started explaining who is behind the creek. CCRP, sve krenulo kao deo 
organizacije koja se zove OCCRP. So, he said that Greek is part of uh, OCCRP, Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project here, right? Sarađuje direktno sa CIO-om, to po svedočenju dvojice visokih zvanještika. So, OCCRP directly has a collaboration with CIA, and this is according to testimony of two officials. Savjeta za nacionalnu bezbednost, jedinih američkih država. Of NSA. So, two officials of NSA confirmed that. The, uh, the fact that OCRP and CIA have close uh, collaboration. Država postoji na sajtu Bele kuće, dakle, ta organizacija koja je direktno povezana sa CIO, sada lansira ovde vjednu priču kazao. So, again, he, uh, he stated that OCRP is directly uh, connected to CIA, and this information that he presented, he said these are on the officials on the on the official site of White House. Sam na to šef Krika Stevan Dojčinović me kritikuje na na Twitteru, a isto vreme na YouTube gasi. Dakle, vi vidite tu centralizaciju. Pa mislim možemo da posumnjamo da da postoji neka tajna veza. U svakom slučaju kažem to je nešto što nam se dešava čega možda nismo do u dovoljnoj meri svesni. Nije loše što postoji ovakva mesta, eto, makar i nedelju mu ujutru ovaj da, da porazgovaramo o ovome, da javnost čuje, prosto da bude obavešteno o tome šta, šta nam se dešava. Možda se... Da li na to što vam se dešava, da li su reagovala neka novinarska udruženja? Jeste udruženje novinara uh -huh. Srbije, to Dobre. moramo da, ovaj, da, da pohvalimo. S druge strane, niko drugi od ovih dežurnih zaštitnika... Uh... So, he said that only one... Association of Journalists of Serbia reacted and... No one else. Ljudskih prava, slobode, niski govora nije našao za shodno da... So no other organization really, which is fighting for free speech, human rights and so on, did a thing. Se oglasi, sad tu možda možemo da pronađemo novi motiv. Naime, svi oni imaju iste, finansijere. I nun si... Nezavisno društvo novinara Vojvodine i spomenuti krik, dakle, svi oni se finansiraju. And he explained here that the reason why nobody reacted is because all of them are financed by the same financier. ...iz istih izvora i naravno da oni svi predstavljaju delove iste mašinerije, sad to neupućenom konzumentu vesti površnom ne može, on prosto to promakne ko će da isprati sve, ali je ista ruka medijski nevladine organizacije pa evo to do političkog upliva mi smo na portalu koji uređuje RT Balkan objavili smo bili ova inicijativa proglas koja se, dakle, je li tako? So he's not talking about political organizations but They are sort of uh, non-governmental organizations. I know they are uh, like uh, advising the public what to do. Uh, why they should, uh, why public should vote for somebody and so on and so on. But uh, he will not reveal who is behind them and. Uh, uh not now and this can can be seen here uh that piece of shit Ivanka Popovich who is uh, who covered up monstrous murders of three members of my, of my family is their member as well i will just show videos she was a 
former rector of Belgrade University, so uh, top of university, Ivan Kapopovic, real piece of shit, stupid bitch, uh, I guess by her face that she's Tsigani, so this part before the dash is the part that in most of the cases the a uh, Google omitted they just showed this one and I proved in videos related to Google blocking me that they are doing this on purpose it's not a bug so let's see what he has to say about Proglas so Proglas is uh, uh, people uh, in that organizations, organization are uh, actors, uh, so-called artists, and, and so on and so on. So they, they were silent for all these years, and they are now suddenly started talking. Of course, to hide who is really behind there, they have the same goal, as, as this guy said, to hide who is really behind all these scandals of illegal... Uh, uh, Oh, sorry, uh, international organized crime. So I have 52, it's now more than 52 cases of international organized crime related to Serbia. And this is explained, uh, this is mentioned in many videos on my channel, but I will create a separate video on that. I need it for some international institutions because I need to translate it to English, it's in Serbian. So more than 52 cases of international organized crime related to Serbia and most of them uh, some of them even uh, uh, happened in uh, were current even during Slobodan Milosevic era but a lot of them started and are still ongoing uh, after dem so called democratic forces took over after Milosevic fall ok lo so let's see what he has to say in our life, in our political life, they only allowed to tell the public that they are connected with a non-government organization, the citizens' initiative, which is a new award from the National Association for Democracy, an American organization, which, as they wrote in the New York Times and Washington Post, publicly works what the CIA did secretly. Okay, he mentioned the national... ...that they are connected with nevladinom organizacijom građanske inicijative koja novac dobija od nacionalne zadržbene za demokratiju. So he said that Proglas is connected to citizens initiatives I think this is the proper translation NGO no governmental organization and this NGO gets their uh, money from uh, I need to play this again from organization građanske inicijative koja novac dobija od nacionalne zadržbene za demokratiju international I, I, I don't know how to translate this Oh, NED, N-E-D, National Endowment, I think this is proper, for democracy. So uh, they are funding the uh, uh, citizens' initiatives, and uh, let's see what else. American organization, which, as they wrote in the New York Times and Washington Post, publicly works what the CIA did publicly. So he said the New York Times and Washington Post wrote about NED that they are doing now publicly, publicly what CIA was doing secretly. Time. Dakle, kažem, to su sve de, pipci iste, iste hobotnice, neko ne upućen to, naravno, neće, da, da, ne, ne može da zna, a, ovo, pa se čini jao da sad svih strana je različiti neki autonomno, jedni, drugi, treći, peti. So he said that all, which is true, of course, I explained that in, in, in the video I played, I showed uh, 
on details on illegal arms trade, all these controlled oppositions actually uh, appear to, to be uh, doing different things, but their goal is the same. Zastupaju istu stvar, pa ne, zastupaju istu stvar, zato što su povezani međusobno i očigledno ono, postoji direktiva, sad ćemo ovo, i onda oni stupaju u delo, aktiviraju se i radi. Je li ovo važno da znaju gledalci? Jer vi kada pričate o proglasu i ako kažete ko stoji za te organizacije, ko organizuje njihove skupove, ko financira ili kako god, vi onda, vama onda kažu da ne znam šta radite, da im crtate mete na čelu, da ih proglašavate nekakvim izdajnicima, stranim plaćenicima i tako dalje. Je li važno da znamo ko stoji za svake organizacije koje učestvuje u našem političkom životu i javnom? So, another guy who is talking is this guy, I think he's a journalist, Mukharem Bazdul. Uh, and they are basically talking talking about uh, talking about if uh, this is something that's actually yeah he's a writer and a journalist uh, they're talking about something that is now uh, currently a very uh, popular topic in, in the world, and this is uh, uh, the a. Uh, it's about those laws on uh, foreign agents. So when some organization is uh, uh, funded by uh, uh, f foreign, uh, uh, if some NGO, I don't know, organization which is. Uh, uh, in political geopolitical sphere when it's when it's funded by foreign agencies which are controlled by foreign governments then they should be considered as foreign agents which they are of course so this is what they're talking about that these data on who is funding who should be publicly publicly available and not secret and this guy uh, was talking about that so i'm not going to play the whole thing uh, okay, so uh, that was it, as I stated in the beginning of this video, this what this guy says, especially for Creek, uh, only confirms what I said, uh, what I claimed in uh, 2021 in that video on details on illegal arms trade, what uh, uh, these uh, so-called investigative journalists uh, are really doing and he now confirmed who is uh, I didn't have this information before uh, and he now confirmed that who is financing them so the one who is involved in the whole thing is financing them to hide that information so uh, that would be it uh, from uh, RT Balkan. I have some other videos related to Arti Balkan. They uh, made mainstream some inf some information pieces of information that that were are not mainstream. But I will I will talk uh, about that in some other video.